So what we're doing here, what we're doing here is we're going to do short pixie hair. Uh, it's actually, it's combination is between the bob haircut and the pixie hair, uh, pixie haircut. So what client doesn't like, you know that sharper haircut is coming like a on the cut and then the bob is coming on top, like nice and tidy and then is the hair is just sitting on top of that tidiness. So she doesn't like that. So instead, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna cut layers and keep hair a little bit more softer. So doesn't matter if you're doing uh, layers or if you're doing graduation, always you can use different technique, different tactic. Uh, that's the way you cut in the hair. So the first is first. Now what we're gonna be doing here, you, either you can go like this, that is, you can use it as a layer. Look, slices, one, two, three, four. So if I divide it, you can do exactly the same slices, like this, like this, like that. Yeah, like this, like this. And you can use this one as a layer or is it as a graduation. And same technique you can also use this way, like an orange and go, you can use as a layers, which is above 45 degree, 90 degree and above, or either you can use as graduation, doesn't matter. The only difference is when you're doing it, uh, the graduation is building the hair and layers is taking the hair. The other one, uh, when you're doing uh, the, uh, this way, you're taking more hair and hair is getting shorter. And if you're doing this way, you're building more hair on the face shape. So it depends what is it you want. Now we start putting the hair, we're going to make it nice, soft. So we're taking one section, just take one small section. You can either go really, this is up to you. You can go either hold your hair like this, or either you can hold the comb, and then you can just go like this and cut it. You can do like this and cut it. So this is really up to you, but the, one of the most important part, I would say, is use use the um, client's head a little bit more down so you can use it look can you see a uh, nice 90 degree and then you can go just like that like this again hold the comb nice like that bring it bring it bring it and i can see my layers and then go cut it like this so what I'm doing here, I'm trying to make it simple for you that you can use different way. You can use this way and kind of layers. You can use that way. Or either you can hold the hair if you want to. Just hold the hair like that and do it that way. Or either do, do it this way. Now, after you've done that, so I think we have only done the top part. Now you can also take the bottom part where you can bring the hair up like this and cut it nice and straight. Take it. Like that, cut it nice and straight. Take it, cut, nice and straight. Now, what you see here, that hair has been a little bit longer here, and that hair is there, is really start building. Also, the bottom part is getting softer and softer. Now, again, if I'm trying to make it like kind of a slight, um, the, the, the cross checking, I can do it this way and then just take a little bit length from there as well to take that heaviness and really that part is already start the slight graduation is there and softness is coming is beautiful absolutely this is amazing now i take another section from here as i said earlier on you can do it this way hold it with your comb to see you to see your head nicely you bring it down and then you cut in your uh, guideline so or either you can hold the hair like this and do it that way or either you can hold it and do your scissors this way point cut so to make your scissors more relaxed towards your haircut so you can do it different way make sure that your hands always has been relaxed when you cut in the hair so you're holding it and then just use your point cut like this and you will see your hands is much much relaxed you can use it this way again so that whatever you do 
make sure your body posture and your hands is always nice and relaxed. Again, you just do it this way. Head shape, do not come in towards you. Just like that, the bottom part. This here, take a little bit length from there. Again, just like this. Take that little bit kind of thicknesses from there and bring the hair nice layers on top here and bottom part is a bit graduations is going on so that hair is just falling nicely softly on there a little bit cross checking and then you already seeing the hair start falling nice and soft now again i just check this part here making sure that that graduation the bottom part graduation is going nicely down but i'm not making too tidy on the bottom part because we don't want to create that this connection. This connection is still there, but it's nicely soft, it's coming down. Now, the another part I'm gonna be showing you is, this side is gonna be shorter than this side. This side is longer, this side is shorter. Now, when we come to the top section, what I'm gonna be doing, just take one nice section from here, bring the head down, take it, take it, and bring it down. Now today also I have used nice thick highlight. I use the eclectic color from Maisie eclectic color and that eclectic color is basically is was 624. I used very chunky highlight is uh, the hair overall it was more blonde. So I took that highlight and to make the hair more softer. So the highlight is going to be showing inside the pixie hair. So can you imagine when the hair is just coming down it's going to be nice uh, low light in between the highlight so it's breaking down the blonde is really looking nice now so if you want this part here you can take this section like that and you can use your blade if you want to so the blade is no no stay here stay here don't go around uh, blades is there so i'm going to be coming to this section i'm holding the hair like that and look just like this like that just like that like this and now when you see this hair is beautifully kind of nice making soft so as i said earlier on we're trying to not make the bottom part too nice and tidy so you can see the hair is really nice and soft it's coming down now because we're creating the pixie hair is between pixie and the bob hair now this part here in Overall, it's a little bit too much. So if you can, um, just wait there, wait there, go back. If you want to, you can just take, pine a bit from here, section it like that. Now this part of here, uh, this part of the hair, so as we said earlier on, because we're gonna leave the hair a little bit longer, so what we're gonna do, just take this hair and tiny 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 just the end of the hair so what we're doing here so really we're going to make this hair leave it long because it's part of the pixie but this pixie is slightly uh, you know um, it's like uh, what was uh, the, the uh, american no the 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 famous girl uh, the family Kim. Kim Kardashian's mom. Kim. Uh, yeah, the Kim Kardashian's mom, is, she has that kind of like a bob between the bob and pixie sometimes she's wearing. So really it's just important to know to identify. But, but one thing I always say is when you cut in the hair, that customer, they should know what you're doing. Uh, but obviously that is not with me. My customer doesn't know what they're having. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to turn the hair this way. Um, and then, so I'm doing slightly diagonal and bring it down. After we've done that, now we're taking another section. Just take one section more, bring it this one down. And once you've done that, forward diagonal, and you're taking the head this way, that you're taking, and already you have a guideline, and you just cut into your guideline. You're taking another section. And you bring it down and you cut in to the guideline. And then the last one. 
Now, the reasons we take in smaller section, because when you take the bigger section, really you don't see the guideline too much, is making more harder for you. So the more your section is thinner, the more easier you, you go going to see your section. So what we're going to do in this size is nearly similar. So we're taking one section big. So as you can see, I'm leaving the top section here. The one section is big and then I'm taking one small section from here. It's the same the other side, but this size is going to be slightly shorter. But as you can see, I have done the other side as well. Bring this one down, take this hair on the side, bring all this hair down and start using my blade again. So I'm taking all this hair in between my finger, all this hair between my finger and start from here and then down, down. Again, I take it this part, small part, and then you've seen it. It's really, really, it's that easy. It's, and then if you've seen some parts, it's, it's little hair is getting long, just take it and bring it down. So if you look, so the hair, for instance, here, little bit, if I take it, this part and back of the ear is a little bit here longer. So I take that one and then just with the edge of my blade, I take that one as well. So now, so you've seen it, it's nice and soft. Now, we're taking this part of hair, again, we're taking this here. No. Again. Now here, as I can see, the bottom the part is getting too thick, where it's gonna make the, um, the sideburns more thicker. So what I'm gonna be doing there, I take this part of hair, just like that, and I'm gonna take, soften this hair, just around the sideburn, soften it. So what that's gonna do, so when you're bringing this hair down, it's gonna make more softer, looking that instead of thicker looking because when it's too thick looking it's gonna make it more bob hair so but we don't want too bobby looking we want a little bit more between pixie and the bob is a bit more soft so it's really that's huge different when you start texturizing the hair now we have cut we're gonna take one forward diagonal taking the hair and already I can see the guideline and then I just go like that holding the hair and cutting it, holding the hair and cutting it. Then taking another section, bring it down, exactly like that, just soft, just soft. So guys, it's, uh, it's, it's really, it's, uh, the haircut by itself is not very hard. They, once you know what you're doing, uh, is very, very, very easy. But I think one of the hardest things in the haircut that you, uh, you, you don't know the the, the, uh, the foundation of the haircut. Once you have foundation of the haircut, how to cut, for example, what's the layers, what's the 45 degree graduation, um, how to follow the hair. You have all that foundation, then you have to look the hair. So the customer, what they want, what kind of haircut styles they want. Once you know that haircut, then you're gonna figure out if that is graduation or if that is the layers. Simple as that. And then you follow the, the, the technique you're gonna use and follow that way. Now, here I'm gonna be using some kind of, uh, with scissor, just like that. I'm gonna be going just nice, I have a guideline, this is there, I'm just following my guideline, just like that. And then you suddenly see, it's the hair, it starts coming out. Look at that, look at that, look at the shape. The, 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 the shape is there, it's absolutely, it's just getting amazing. Now, I start here, already I have created a guideline for myself. Then I take another section from here, and then I bring this one here on top, and now I just go and chop it. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, take another section. Choppy, 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 choppy. So try to not cut the hair too blonde, cut the hair, because after this, the hair is gonna look more pixier. Now, every hair you cut, and you try, the, try to bring it backward. You're not taking any hair, so you, uh, you take, you're leaving the front a little bit long. 
again is the pan from the hair to hair not all the hair is exactly the same some haircut will be slightly different than the other haircut so i take all this hair backwards and now only a little bit is left now i'm trying to bring it this one down it's as simple as that now suddenly my shape is start taking the another things if sometimes the clients you may say is the front little bit fringe is going to look better so i take this fringe for example for this haircut i think sometimes it's good to have slight softer fringe so what we're going to do here just take one small section one small section from here just enough just enough to cover this area like this here we go like that and what i'm going to be doing here Bring this one down. Like that. And then to make a little bit more shorter here to give that kind of jaggy style. Here, however, uh, you can see a little bit thicker there so what i'm going to be doing this part i'm going to take nice and soft nice and soft and then deep cut and that is going to make it soft as well now after i blow dry the hair i will come with final uh, result i will show you the result how it's going to look like it's absolutely it's going to look amazing so when i finished i will definitely promise you i will show you the result it's going to look amazing um yeah thank you everybody and uh big hug big kiss hello uh, sabah al khair. um uh, i hope you're all well uh, i have heard your mom she passed away sorry to hear that mate uh, big hug love you all bye bye